Hey everyone, welcome to another my tutorial. So in previous tutorial we learned how to code sigmoid and sigmoid gradients function. In this tutorial we learn how to shape arrays, normalize rows, what is broadcasting and softmarks. So simply talking, uh, we need all of these for our future tutorials. So two common numpy functions used in deep learning are numpy shape and numpy reshape. So each shape is used to get the shape, I mean dimension of a matrix, uh, and a vector reshape is used to reshape some kind of, for example, x in some other dimension. For example, in computer science, a standard image is represented by 3D array, so it is length, height, and depth. This means uh, RGB photo. However, when you read an image as the input of an algorithm, you convert it to the vector of shape length multiplied by height and multiplied by depth. In other words, you unroll or reshape the, your image, 3D array into 1D array. So for example, this is uh, our image and this image holds uh, red, green and blue layers. So this all layer should be unrolled into one layer. So in this tutorial, I will implement a function that takes an input of our image, which is of shape length, depth, and height, and returns a vector of shape length multiplied by height and depth. So for example, we'll receive as a result this one. So anyway, I'll start on the code. It will be much easier. So I'll come. I come back to the my previous tutorial code and simply I will continue on it. So I define image to vector image and uh, or my new function and image will be my image and I a will be my unrolled image. So not to forget I'll write like this. So what we do we take my image and we reshape it here. So what we need to do if we would like to receive uh, all three uh, 3D arrays into one 1D array. So what we do is we take image shape for zero and we multiply it by shape by one and then we multiply it by two and here comes my one so that's it it's quite easy and fast to integrate so right now to test how it works I'll try to write a simple array or I will copy it from another place somewhere um, okay here will be my array I created one 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 two this is my 3d array and we can try to print something with it so what I'll write is print and I'll call this with an image like that and I would like to test more stuff, so let's check what it is, its shape, my image shape, I mean, and what shape is after we reshape it. So just like that. Okay, let's build it, and let me make it bigger. As you can see, a all my numbers were set into 1D array and before the shape of my uh, numpy array was 3 by 3 by 2 and after that after my, our function of reshaping it's 18 by 1 so it was simply unrolled okay and that's it that's quite easy doesn't it uh, Okay, let's move forward and let's talk about normalizing rows. 
So this is uh, another common technique used in machine learning and deep learning called rules normalization. It often leads to a better performance because gradient distance converges faster after normalization. Well, can, I can show you another image. By normalization, I mean to make x divided by x normalized. So I'll write everything on my text tutorial because right now it might look not so clear as it is right now. So I'll write everything in code and I'll post this into my website so if you would like to analyze it more clearly. So I'll implement this function by writing a uh, define a new function. I'll call it normalize rows and we take again x and here we write x normalize is equal to there is special function in numpy it called numpy len alg normalize so simply talking uh, i wrote here everything details what it means to normalize so just check it here and what i do is numpy write normalize and here I'll write x will normalize my x order is equal to 2 x is equal to 1 and keep dims equal to true just like that and next I'll take my x and I divide x by x normalization like that and then just return my x simple right now we can test this and i'll write uh, also numpy array numpy array just like that and i'll add sorry not that one that one i'll add something like zero three four and one more is one, six, and example four. This will be my, my array. And now just call print normalize rows x. Okay, let's build it. We'll see what it shows me. Okay, it shouldn't do this. <laughs> right? And I forgot this one okay that's what i forgot here um x or axis keep them true oh sorry that's a Silly mistake. So right now you can see what we received. And to make it clear more, we can try to print the shapes of x norm and x. So we do this here. Print x dot shape and print x norm dot shape. Let's see what we get. As you can see, it's 2 by 3 and 2 by 1. And, and also, what we can do is we can print the values. Okay. This is our numpy array, and this is our normalized uh, numpy array. So, you may ask, how did it work it when you divided x by x normalized? So, this is called uh, broadcasting. So, it means that uh, our file, so we divide 0 by 5, we divide 3 by 5, we divide 4 by 5, and then we divide uh, 1 by 7.28, we divide 6 by 72.8, and so on. 
and if it's a large array we do the same so this is called uh, broadcasting that's quite simple doesn't it okay uh, I'll delete this we don't need this anymore and we can move forward okay next I would like to talk about softmax and I will implement a softmax function using numpy and you can think of softmax as normalizing function use it in use it when your algorithm needs to classify two or more classes so so this means you'll learn about softmax in my future tutorials but for now I would need to review it shortly so this is my softmax function and we will implement this in our code and of course as I did before I won't uh, talk much about this I will simply implement this and if we would need to more, get more details about this you can check this on my website link is below the, my video so I will create a new function and I will call it define a soft, softmax by x and here uh, what I'll do here is I'll calculate a uh, x exponential and this will be numpy exponential function then I'll create uh, another function x by sum equal and here we call uh, numpy sum and here we uh, sum all exponential exponentials of my x so x is equal to 1 and keep them also equal to true and what's left is to calculate the softmax so means we divide x exponential by x sum just like that and return s this is quite easy and now what I did I wrote a softmax function and I can, I'll try to print it right now I'll bit uh, modify my numpy arrays so I'll add more random numbers so I'll add something like this and here I will add something like 4910 and of course 5 okay this will be fine and we can build it yeah that's a simple error and just like that as you can see it returned us uh, same shape array but now it was softmaxed and if we would try to print the shapes of x exponential and x sum and s above we'll see that their shape is quite different so let's try that if I'll print x sum shape and I'll copy this here and here x this will be my x sum and s let's build it as you can see uh, it is 2 by 5 2 by 1 and result is 2 by 5 so uh, here is our sum which uh, turns us a different shape 2 by y and x exponential and s are the same shape 2 by 5 and when we divide uh, our x exponential by x sum we receive the uh, same shape as it was before because of our numpy broadcasting function so that's it it's quite easy so in this tutorial we created three more uh, simple functions which we'll use in later tutorials don't forget and 
they are necessary for us and I can't do this in one video. It's better to learn them in separately. So we now have a pretty good understanding of Python NumPy library and have implemented a few usable functions that we'll be using in future deep learning tutorials. So these are all five tutorials. From this curtain tutorial, we must remember that NumPy exponential function works for any NumPy array and applies the exponential function to every coordinate. Sigmoid function and its greater than image to vector are two commonly used functions in deep learning. For example, NumPy reshape is also widely used. And in the future, you'll see that keeping your matrix and vector dimensions straight will go toward eliminating a lot of bugs in code. You will see that NumPy has efficiently built-in functions like broadcasting that is extremely useful in machine learning. You, well, if you don't know anything about machine learning, you will learn, learn that in future tutorials. Up to this point, we we'll learn nice stuff about NumPy library. So in next tutorial, we still need to learn more about vectorization and then we'll start coding our first gradient descent algorithm. So I think that's it for this tutorial and yeah, I'll call, cover simply a vectorization in next tutorial and then we'll move on more difficult tasks like gradient descent. So thank you all for watching, good luck and see you in the next tutorial.